Hey Wastelanders, welcome back to Fallout 4 Horizon. Wanderer here, and we just got done saving the Minutemen and sending them over to Sanctuary, so we should have some indentured servants ready to farm some adhesive for us very soon. Um, so in this episode, I'm going to be kind of giving you the highlights of clearing out Concord, the uh, civic access, as well as the workhouse and some other areas that are kind of of interest here in Concord. And as well, we're going to be heading over to Wicked Shipping and clearing that out, and then probably heading up to the USAF Satellite Station Olivia, getting uh, Mr. Abernathy's locket back and adding even more settlers to our uh, enslavement ranks. So, it's going to be a great episode. Let's get started. So I can set up some ASAM plots and stuff. Um, I want to know more about how that works, so like if, if they automatically gather your resources for you, or how that works, and how it interacts with Horizon, because I want to make sure I have a good stock of the stuff that you need to make vegetable starch by the time I'm level 12. That'll be a real pain in the ass if I, if I don't, I mean. It's going to be difficult enough getting there. Be a real shame to get to that level and then you still couldn't make it because I didn't have the materials. Alright, so let's run through here real quick and get this done. Door looks fantastic, and that retexture does. Bring it on, mole rats. <laughs> what the hell is that? He tried to dig in down there, in the water. More to say, have you? Yes, they're like stuck in their holes back in there. What are you doing, dude? Alright, gotta kill this Meyer Lurk. Come on, buddy. Ugh, <sighs> took a while. Alright, and back here is the fusion hey. core. No, get, just get out of the way! Hey. Over, over there. there. Get out of here. Always in my way, dog meat, every goddamn time. This is why I don't like you. There we go. Okay, a tattoo the tattoo novels don't give you anything special, unfortunately. Uh, not novels, magazines. Tattoo magazines don't give you anything special. Okay, I think that's pretty much it in here. Alright, so we can start doing some sim settlement stuff here. I wanna also check to see what this pre-war parcel was. I don't know how you open that. So, we gotta make some residences and some water. So we'll use this for a residential plot. Come on, there we go. Okay, so we got a nice little residential plot over here. And uh, we'll put another one on another one of these open areas. I think I'll actually do shops over here. Okay, there's the commercial plots. Alright, so those are those are showing up as beds now, that's cool. Wow, these are going up quick. Looks cool. Very cool. Alright. Digging it, I'm digging it. Not digging them those floating there, but I guess that's to be expected if I for where I put them. Let's see here. I'm gonna do some stuff around the edge here on the on the side. Just do a couple of these. One and five. That should give us plenty of room to grow for now. And I need to get some generators going here. So I think, um, in terms of what they produce, yeah, much better off making the small generators. Should be plenty. Probably is too much, actually, to be honest. And uh, as far as defenses go, we have to have some defenses, right? Because they're going to want them. So um, we'll do. Does it cost anything major? No, it doesn't. Costs more than what this does, though. Guess we can just do these. Okay, that looks good. And then we'll put down um, some of these, too. Yeah, there we go. Nice and fortified. Looking good. So we got to put a recruitment beacon up, of course. Put it right over here. So i got to run some uh, conduits and stuff this way anyway. Power pylon to connect these. Okay, so we got some basic stuff set up here. Um, they should eventually start using those. It takes a while for them to refresh, though. Now, um, over here, 
So now I can, uh, I've got potatoes I can just plant, straight up plant. Man, she's angry. Look how angry she is. She is pissed. Okay, there's potatoes. Now I need the wild flint corn, which I don't, I guess I don't have any of that. I thought I did, though. Talk to Mama Murphy, make a chair. A favor to ask you, kid. Sure, be glad to help. Thank you. Sure. Okay, let's make her chair. Beds, beds, beds. I made beds. I don't know why they're they're like not using them. Shows only three now. Alrighty, guys, let's head into uh, the power armor here, and we're gonna run up to USAF satellite station Olivia. While we're on the way up there, uh, we can go ahead and stop over at the settlement up there, um, Ten Pines Bluff. It's a very nice day out. I think it is getting kind of late though, right? Because Oh wait, no, is it morning? Yeah, it's morning. We're good. We've got plenty of time. It's confused between the local time and the uh, the game time there. Wait a minute, this doesn't look like it's 9 p.m. in game. No, it's just 9 p.m. IRL, which is like close to my bedtime. It's rough having a 9 to 5 job, man. One of these days, I'm gonna do this for a living full time. Then the bottom will fall out of YouTube and I'll have no job and no income from YouTube. And uh, I'll just be SOL. Have to move back in mom's basement. I, uh, I changed the load order a little bit, and I think now I have new trees. And I don't dislike these trees, but, um, well, they're certainly not the spring trees we had before, are they? These are like dead wasteland trees. Uh, I have to look into that and uh, redo the mod load order. Alright, here we go. Right in the head. Stop hiding from me, man. No, you don't. I don't think so. Put a tactical scope here on my uh, pipe rifle. And, you know, for me at least... Where, where, where did his body go? There it is. For me, at least, um, it really helps me out a lot in terms of aiming. I'm much, much more accurate with this thing on. All right, let's run up here real quick, get the loot from this guy. I'm not going to worry about the armor because, again, I'm not going to be using any armor. I'm just going to be using power armor full time if I possibly can. Oh, that's a enemy dog, isn't it? I do hate the combat knife animation in the power armor, though. I know I've mentioned that before, but I really don't like that you can't do the stabby stabby motion. Gotta do this overhead swing thing. It's just no good. It makes it like as slow as um, the whatever it is, the other machete and stuff like that. It makes it as slow as that stuff. Just no good. No good, man. Alright. Let's get in here. Take care of the raiders. I think I think I really underestimated this mod the first time I was going through here. Did not bring the power armor for this place, and I seriously got my butt kicked. It was pretty, pretty intense. Oh, hey. this person's at. Okay, we gotta get that minigun real quick so they don't pick it up. This is not bad, though. Yeah, it's not bad at all. Jeez, dog meat. Go get him. Shit. Hey, now. This is not bad at all for, like, the stabbing motion. Stabs him right in the head. Why am I shooting? Reload. Right in the face.
so much easier to hit my target and be a lot more accurate with a decent uh, scope on here. I didn't realize how big of a deal that was, but it really is a big deal. I don't know, guys. I'm feeling a lot better about this playthrough so far. Let's make a quick sweep around here, make sure I've gotten everything. want absolutely everything we can pick up, because we can carry pretty much all of it back, I think. Okay, that's good. Let's get our locket. So we've got these uh, parcels. I noticed like the quest items have uh, an exclamation mark on them. And I've seen that we've got these... Oh, I gotta level up. We've got these parcels everywhere. Radarocha, get away. Pretty sure I just stabbed dog meat. Sorry, dog meat. One more roach over here. Get out of here, you dirty roach. All right, so get the intel room key here, and then we can go upstairs and get our loot from the intel room. Quite a lot of good stuff over there. Let me check my level up here. Uh, level four. So level four means we need to get the robotics thing, right? What? It said level four last time I looked at it. I swear to God it did. Now it says level five. I can do... Sur There's so many things I need. I need survivalist. I need scrounger. I need gun nut. I need scrapper. I need science. Uh, so many things I need. Um, armor is not bad as well. The thing with gun nut is I don't really have any adhesive right now, so it's not a big deal. I'll decide when I get back. I mean, I can't, I can't decide right now. Okay, that should be it. Except for the intel room, of course. So we'll go over here and get the intel room, and that is, uh, yeah, right here. And... Can open this. Nice. Ah, lost a bobby pin. It's okay, we got plenty. You know, I shouldn't have moved it at all. I should have just left it where it was. Alright, there's that. Bunch of junk. More fictional lit. Nice. I didn't see what that said, but I'm assuming it was just... I assumed it was just like a stealth thing, so I didn't really look at it. Even the folders have use in this mod. That was one item that was like 100% useless before. The boss chests are so depressing, like, you always get a weapon in the default game, in the vanilla game, you always get, like, a weapon in them, even if, even though it's, like, a weapon you don't need, most likely it's a crappy weapon, it's still nice to get it. Alright, so we're gonna go over to Ten Pines Bluff, talk to those guys. There may not be a whole lot, oh, I didn't get the trees yet. You have to deal with them for a while, guys. Actually, I actually kind of like how the trees look, but... Doesn't suit the, uh, well, I guess the the springtime, or the summertime mod is just uninstalled somehow. Which, I mean, it looks fine. It looks like default Fallout 4 with, like, white trees. So it's not terrible. Um, it's just different. Hey, skeleton. What you doing out here? Don't remember seeing that guy out here before. I don't know. I don't know, let me know what you guys think. If you guys like this better, then we can keep it. If not, then we can switch it up. Right in the back of the head. I actually have a nice surplus of uh, 38 rounds because I've been very frugal with them and because I haven't had to deal with the 10 bazillion spawns from the War of the Commonwealth mod. There's a guy over here too. You know what, guy? I'm sorry. This is evil, but... Sorry, I need your shit, man. Need your stuff. As limited as it may be. Other thing is, like, without the, the summertime mod... The game, I have to admit, the game does run a bit better. With the default, tex the default grass and textures and stuff in. It runs pretty damn good right now. I mean, I don't have an FPS counter up, but I'm quite sure I'm running at a very, very steady 60 FPS, even while recording. Which, I do tend to drop a little bit on the FPS. Other thing is, with the without the, the summer mod installed or whatever, it's a lot more open. You can see a lot further. And uh, it kind of is, is, I don't know, it's kind of nice for exploring.
I don't know, man. I like both setups. I, I like them both. I, just, you know, just vote for it or something in the comments, and uh, I'll go with whatever has the most votes. If you want summertime green mod, or if you want the traditional uh, Fallout 4, you know, desolate wasteland, white trees and dead grass mod look. Well, that's not a mod, just a default Fallout 4. And, uh, okay, so we're going around here. I'm just kind of scouting around this area, making sure I've gotten everything. I'm going to save just in case. Totally not because I'm bad at the game and I might die. It's totally just because, you know, the game could crash and stuff. Oh, there's, uh, the thicket. I guess we can go over here real quick and do this. Not sure how I opened that refrigerator while standing on it. All right, so we're going to go down here and talk to Mr. Sully, the wannabe raider. And, uh, I don't know what he does if you actually pass off his charisma checks and get him to tell you what he's doing. I might quick save before it because I don't want to... I, I do want him to, like, trigger his quest and have him go and do all the stuff, you know? Like, because he drains this place and brings his raider friends over here and then it's a nice, uh... It's a nice place to come and clear out later on. So I definitely want that. At the same time, um, I... I don't know, I don't want to... Don't want to be part of the raider thing he's going to have going on here. You know, it's funny, but after... I don't know, like, after uh, playing with, like, green mods so much, I don't know, I... Maybe it's just because it's new to me now, but I kind of like the default Fallout 4 look a little bit better now. It's probably just because it's different. I'm not used to it right now, so it looks good to me. So, all right, let's talk to Sully Mathis. Where you at, Sully? What are you doing over here, dear? What are you doing here, dear? Get out of here. Well, oh, he was running from a bloat fly. I'm sorry, dear. Yeah, you're in a corner. What you gonna do now, bloat fly? Nowhere to run now. That's right. Hey, thanks for the help, Sully. Thanks a lot, buddy. Ah, right, so we are we are over encumbered. Um I gotta drop some stuff. Let's see. What's my charisma? Uh ten. That really should be enough to talk him into whatever. Um now I don't know if you go over here and look at his terminal, if it affects the quest. Oh, I forgot to pick all this stuff up too. All right, so we go to the terminal here and um, play a tape here, and he talks about how he's going to be getting his raider boys over here. This is a great spot with the right crew. I'd have no problem keeping this place locked down. Traders run close enough for easy pickings, but not so close that we end up getting skinned. The whole damn thing's with water, though. Figures there's always a catch. Big ass drainage pump looks mostly intact. If I'm lucky, it might still work. Gonna take a closer look tomorrow. So yeah, he's looking us up a raider gang over here. And if you talk to him, again, I'm gonna I'm gonna save. And I'm gonna take my fusion core out of my power armor too, because you are not stealing my power armor, Slay Mathis. Hi. Looking to earn some caps? I could use a hand here if you're all done talking, you know. Wow, Sully. Kinda clipping in there. I could probably help for a few caps extra. I was gonna give you something anyway. Seventy-five caps for your time? I'm not sure if I'm up for Oh, come on, Sully. More caps might you can do better than that. Make this easy, are you? Nope, I'm sure not. You want this pump fixed, right? Throw in a few more caps. Yeah, Sully. Come on. You want it fixed. That's it. Help you with what? Exactly. I'm trying to fix this old water. No, what are you really up to here? Maybe I got some friends who like to go spelunking. Maybe I need a new hole to throw some what do you need help with? Uh, the pump, the leaks will be on. Alright, so he doesn't, doesn't actually tell you. You can, uh... You get an experience boost from it, though, so I, I don't know what that's about. Um, that's quite a bit of level there from my charisma there. Alright, so we gotta... Gonna use a rad away, I think, or a rad... Um, yeah, rad X. So 
just gonna loot this stuff real quick and then in we go all right fix one much easier to see whenever you're jumping out of the water there's two and there is number three All right, there we go. I'm really, really happy that the textures out here have not bugged out. For some reason, this place always bugs out for me, and I have, like, these weird, blocky-looking textures. It's such a relief to actually see the real quarry here. Like, this whole thing is just a big block of, like, really low-res texture. All right. Now, I got some explosives I could, well... Do I really need to use the explosives, though, is the question, isn't it? Baseball grenades kind of suck. I'll go ahead and use some of those. Actually, I gotta stop using this, because it's using up my... I forgot. Go hit Sully, man. Right in the face. Oh my god, did they... Okay, he's not dead yet. This one's legendary, that's why it's taking so long. How are you not dead? Oh, it's the worst legendary ever. All right, let's talk to him. <clears throat> Meyer loves. I guess I shouldn't be surprised that started him up. Anyway, I still got some tinkering to do on this thing. Shouldn't be too hard now, though. Thanks for pitching in. There's a little something before you clear out. All right, got our caps. Got that quest completed. Put our fusion core back in. I guess that's why I never used melee. I, like I thought, I was thinking about like why did I never use melee in my previous playthroughs, and that's actually is a good reason why is because using uh, swinging and whatever, especially with low agility, that's going to burn through your um, your power armor really, really, or your your fusion course really fast. Wow, my hit points are super low. Okay, uh, let's go up to Ten Pines Bluff. I should just use explosives for those Mylar, because it took way too long to kill him. Way too many bullets. Very not worth it. There's a person over here. I don't know who this is. Is this, um... The shack over here. Usually there's like a, a man and a child. Oh, it's these guys. You know what I'm talking about here. Bullshit. Yes? You can't just put something between two pieces of bread and claim it's a sandwich. Does that mean a loaf of bread is technically a bread sandwich? Technically, yes, but you wouldn't eat it all at once like that, so it doesn't matter. How you hold it matters. Talk all you want. I looked it up, and apparently this is a very obscure reference to, like, the meaning of sandwiches and how they were, like, initially came about and stuff. Jesus. Die already.
it just it kind of sucks. It's like I either have to use AP for my power armor to kill them, um, or I have to. Oh Jesus! Or I have to. Um, Use up ammo. Neither one's a good option. You guys can see I'm burning through ammo really fast here on this the 38 ammo. Just I'm not replenishing it because I just don't get it very often. I need to get the scrounger perk. Maybe that's what I should get next, even though I think I should save it. Alright, so over there is the what's it called? The The junkyard or whatever. I don't want to go there quite yet. Want to go up north to Tempines Bluff? Just I'm going all over the place here, but that's fine. This is what this point of the game is. Just kind of wandering around, doing stuff. Is this uh? A high level one, that's for sure. The thing I. Oh my god, he's still alive. He's a legendary. Still alive? Dear God. Better have something good. Um, yeah, that's totally shitty. That's interesting. Nice green tinge to the world with that uh, poison on me. Oh, how quickly the ammo is going away. Fight him, dog meat. Fight! Right in the face. Right in the ass. Back off, dog. You are here to get shot in the face and give me experience, that's all. At all? I think it's all of them. I still have poison going, man. This takes forever to go away. Which is, you know, it's like how poison actually works, right? It's this duffel bag, man. Like, you can't loot it. Like, it's a duffel bag here. Oh, wait a minute. What if I... Aha! There's, like, only a small point you can actually loot from on that thing. It's like, I don't know. It's weird. Oh, look, look at the poison effect. I'm just, like, a noxious spewing poisoned person. I wonder if I go to bed while I'm poisoned, if I'll just die. It's very possible. Alright, I'm gonna get out the combat knife for this. Alright. Take all your tatoes. It's a nice shirt you got on there, man. Grognak shirt, huh? It's pretty ballin'. Hi. What you Whoa! Want? We don't need any more trouble around. Why are you wearing lipstick? Like your face is dirty. You're wearing shabby clothes. Did you ask the Minutemen for help? You're with the Minutemen? I didn't really think you fellas still existed. We sent word with one of them passing traders, but honestly, I never expected anything to come of it. Well, <laughs> Minutemen are back, lady, let me tell you. We're rebuilding the Minutemen from the ground up. We're the good and guys. we're badass. No question that things have been worse since the Minutemen fell to pieces. There's a raider gang that's been giving us trouble for weeks. Stealing food and supplies, threatening to kill us all if we don't pony up. 
We know where they're coming from, but we can't go up against a gang like that. Will you be willing to join the Minutemen once I've dealt with those raiders? Well, we'll certainly give it a good long think. People have gotten used to not being able to count on you folks. That's not going to change over... Sure. That's a very nice screenshot right there, man. Maybe not with a combat knife. Let's get out the 10 milli. Let's turn around. Yeah! Stick him up! <laughs> Alright. Um, okay, so... Yeah, we need to go down to Corvega. Do all that stuff. Kill Corvega people. Corvega raiders. That's... Pretty much it, yeah. So we did Thicket, we did uh, USAF Satellite Station Olivia. I want to run down to Concord real quick and get some stuff I forgot to get there. And I'm going to head back up to Sanctuary. And I'll see you there. Alright guys, back at Sanctuary and uh, just taking a look around here, looking at my nice shops and stuff we got over here. Going to go and drop off the power armor around back. Do some repairs on it. Looks like my left or maybe my right leg, I'm not sure which one that is. Um, needs repaired. Oh, and my fusion core just ran out. I should have popped it out before I, that if I could have. That would have been nice. Oh well, it's okay. Let me look at my... how I'm doing here. Um, so I got three full fusion cores. That's very good. Too many nukes. Um, a little bit of 5 millimeter rounds. I want to save these and try to use the, the minigun when I go down to Corvega pretty soon here. Um, and then not too much else on my other rounds here. So yeah, I gotta kind of try to conserve on my ammo. Or craft some ammo. Okay, so there we go. Now I can go into it. So yeah, we're going with survivalists so I can plant some of those crops. It's really important that I do that. And that's the perk we're going to have to have anyway. So that's totally cool. Totally okay with using that. So now I can plant domesticated mute fruit, which is pretty sweet. I think I'll be planting the actual crops myself for now. Um, and that's because I want to have control, very specific control over what I what I do. Now I did have some flint corn, but it's gone now I think because uh, yeah, it's definitely gone. Oh, I'm out of fertilizer, shit. Yeah, no thanks to you, Mom Murphy. I need the experience, um, so here you go. Ah, that's it. I can feel the sight opening up. You can feel the drugs, is what you can feel. Sure. Well, she almost kicked it. All right, now can I can I put it to work? No, I can't. Damn it. I've got that locket back for you. You serious? Oh, I'm That's serious. Connie's gonna be speechless. I'm sure bet she is. Kind of I bet she will. Least we can do. Yep, I'm gonna take over your whole farm, Blake. You're my slave now, Blake. You're my forced labor. You and your whole family. You'll do as I say. All right, getting late. Um, I could probably go over here and clear out this place. I mean. It's not that dangerous. Famous last words. Well, <laughs> he's dead. It wasn't pretty, but he's dead. It's a massive waste of ammo is what it was. I'm wearing, like, my suit. <laughs> this is not this is not good combat gear I'm in right now. Whoa, run past it. Gary! Alright, get back there, get in. Uh, let's see here, we got here. Nothing good. Sweet. Lawyer's handbook, it's just what I always wanted. Become a post apocalyptic lawyer. Bethesda truly knows my real ambitions. Give me all the things, give me all the things, give me all the stuff, give me all the stuff and the things. Whole deal with Eddie and 
Everybody is wicked shysty. I mean, what kind of business partner threatens to kill you if the deal doesn't go his way? We are in way over our heads, man. I can't see a way out of this. No way except shut down and getting out of Dodge. Give me a chance to talk this out with you face to face. I just want both of us to get out of this. I love how they talk. Alright, crush your enemies, 2 of 10, very nice. So, I need like rank 4 or something to make a decent melee weapon, which is just insane. You need that high of a level to make a good, a, even remotely decent melee weapon. It's just nuts. Although I... Did not mean to hit that, it scared the crap out of me. I uh, did get that sledgehammer. So, that's interesting. I may be able to modify that and make that a decent weapon. The way that damage in Fallout 4 works, when you're dealing damage anyway, well, it's, it's for incoming damage too, uh, but the way that damage works is that if your damage is equal, or if your, yeah, if your damage is equal to their armor, then uh, your your damage is reduced by half. So say I do 50 damage and it's against a target that has 50 armor. Well, then that 50 armor is going to negate 50% of your damage. So my 20 my 50 armor turns into 25 damage. Sorry, my 50 damage turns into 25 damage if they have 50 armor. Another example would be like if they have a hard armor um, and I deal 100 damage then I would only do 50 damage, I'd do half as much, basically. Which is just kind of shitty, you know? Yeah, I'm doing pretty good with this uh, tactical rifle. Getting them headshots. The tactical scope here. I just, I'm not a big fan of like aiming down like traditional iron sights. Like, I don't know, it just does not work well for me in FPS's. Well, so far, so good. I have not been punished for my lack of respect for the ghouls over here. So far, I've just been able to go through here and get everything with no problem. All right, so upstairs we go. Lots more stuff up here. Notice that my radios don't work. That is actually intentional. It's a mod that I use specifically made for YouTubers. YouTubers, I hate that word. Not YouTubers. It's made for YouTube content creators. That's what I am. To have some respect for myself, you know? YouTube content creator just sounds so much more professional than YouTuber. Anyway, it's made for people that put... God damn it. Videos on YouTube. Gotta walk around now. Made for people like me that put videos on YouTube and uh, it removes all songs from the radio because if you didn't know... If you hear a song in-game on the radio, guess what? You can get a copyright strike. I know, because I've not gotten a copyright strike, but I had a uh, video demonetized because of it. Last thing we need to get is over here in the Wicked Shipping trailer. We can open that up, and we'll get a uh, boss chest that has nothing in it, I'm sure. Yeah, not really anything good. Okay, so there's that. Um, Abernathy is taken care of. We got this done over here. There's a robot over here you can kill. Hmm. Um. I'm gonna release him. Up. On duty. So, uh, yeah, we'll use the baseball grenades. Actually, does the construction worker shoot railway spikes? I don't know. Oh, yep, he does. Oh, shit. That's going to blow up. He's almost down. I'm not going to use it anymore. He might have... Uh he may have some circuitry on him, which is why I want to kill him. Right. 
That truck's gonna blow any time, too. I can't believe he's not dead. Nope, here it goes. There we go. I think he took some damage there. Can he actually attack me? I'm gonna blow myself up, aren't I? Die! Oh, he can't attack, okay. Well, get out of the way, dog meat. Oh, he's dead. Alright, that was totally 100% not worth it. Whatever. Experience, I guess. Alright, uh, gonna go back up home, I think, and probably wrap up the episode here. So, uh, yeah, next episode, again, we're gonna head down here to Cora Vega, and we'll make, like, a beeline straight from Concord down to here. Stop at the Drumlin Diner over here, meet Wolfgang and Trudy and, the, and those people, and get the, uh... The Starlight Drive-In over here as well. That'll be kind of our staging point for invasion of the kind of center of the map. And uh, once we've gotten that taken care of, we'll start exploring out around from Corvega. So at that point, hopefully we should be level five. We can make the, um, we can start building stuff in earnest. Alright guys, it's going to wrap it up for this episode. I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.